are not coming to this to appear before this house. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Senator Veronica. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Let me first say uh, this morning that uh, the Senate uh, is very disappointed and expresses displeasure at the spite and the contempt that has been shown by the CACs who have not appeared here. But let me also be quick to point that there are a number of CACs who have shown respect and have uh, uh, met their constitutional obligation by appearing before this house. And one of the CSs we must distinguish is the CS for Interior, the Minister for Interior, who has been uh, very respectful to this house and has appeared, I believe, twice before this house and presented uh, responses to questions that were raised by senators on behalf of the people of Kenya, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, it appears as though uh, the CSs are not taking this as an important function or a very vital function of accountability to the people of Kenya. And the reason why uh, some of the questions are being raised by Kenyans is because maybe the ministries have not been fully effective in serving the people of Kenya. And for that, they must remain accountable and continue to improve the services that are being rendered from the ministries. And if those services are being rendered at an optimal level of 100%, nobody would call them here to ask questions that are being asked by senators on behalf of the people. I would also want to uh, point out, Mr. Speaker, that for repeat offenders who do not appear, who are summoned to answer questions and they do not appear, Mr. Speaker, then we should consider also a motion to censure such a CS who does not want to come and explain the functions of the ministry or respond to issues that have not uh, been adequately tackled to the extent that uh, citizens are asking questions on their areas of operation, Mr. Speaker. By and large, Mr. Speaker, we would wish to remind the CSs, and unfortunately it's being done by senators, even from the side of the Kenya Kwanzaa, we would wish to remind them that this House, Mr. Speaker, amended the standing orders to accommodate an opportunity and to give a platform to the CSs to be able to have a conversation with Kenya through their representatives. And for that, Mr. Speaker, they must abide by the standing orders, they must abide by the summons when they are summoned to the House or summoned to the committees. Otherwise, Mr. Speaker, the penal sanction should come into play. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Hillary Sigay. 